Hey everybody, Christine Williams here. I just would like to share some candid thoughts and they're gonna be random and all over the place, but just based on some experiences that I've been having and kind of reflecting back on the past few months and, and thinking about how our world has changed with technology and, and how it affects our relationships and, and the, the way we interact with folks if we're in sales. So I'm in real estate, as many of you know, uh, but sales, that encompasses so many different industries, right? Mortgages, insurance. We have tons of multi-level marketing companies these days. We have financial services. We have just a gazillion products and services, and we all want to get out there and get our voice out and, and get our customers, right? And so I think sometimes maybe we've lost the um, precious art of interpersonal communication because we all hide behind technology. Um, through all my coachings and trainings I do with agents, I remind them, don't just put that, what I call the static post, hey, I'm a realtor, call me. There's literally over 9,000 registered realtors in the Northeast Florida area. There's over 15,000 in Orlando. There's tons of choice. Same holds true for almost any product, whether it's insurance or mortgages or anything we see that people are selling through multi-level marketing, right? The coffees and the skincare, and the, the cosmetics and, and gosh, everything. And everybody has a right to build your business the way you want to and, to, and everybody has a right to a lucrative business to fund your ideal life. And we all need to, to focus on doing that in the proper way. So one thing that I'm thinking about that upsets me a lot is no is a complete sentence. If somebody says, not right now, or I'll think about it, or thank you, that could be a maybe or a not right now. It could be a polite way of saying no. But when somebody gives you an emphatic no thank you or no thank you, I'm not interested or just a no or a no don't contact me again, please respect the no. We have to respect the no. We have to respect people's boundaries. So there's a gazillion people in the world. We have tons of others that we can go and, and have a yes somewhere. So I'm not talking about this being a numbers and a sales pitch real quick. This is more about, we need to focus on, again, the interpersonal interaction and not hiding behind that text message or that, that mass email or the social media post. We need to focus on authenticity and building interpersonal relationships and connecting as a human again. We need to tell our story so that we attract the people that want to do business with us and that want our product or our service. So I've just realized that I'm getting inundated a lot in the past few months with private messages on multi, multiple social media platforms. And then I'm also getting actual emails from people wanting me to buy their product. And then when I say no, they follow up again with the same pitch. So let's think about how we're interacting with people. Is that how we would interact with them if we were face to face? And I just I want everybody to respect the no. And I want everybody to start thinking about who you are and reflecting who you are authentically on social media so that who you are on social media is who you are in real life. That's how you're gonna get the people that you want to work with and that want your product or service. So I'm hoping that some of this resonates with some of you. And in the comments, I'd love to hear any stories. I don't want any negativity, but I would love to hear maybe some ideas on how you are sharing yourself authentically and how it's helping your business. Anyway, just some thoughts on, on a random Wednesday. Have a great day, everybody.